How is whole spice? I have with me a very a bunch of very special sweet souls, right? Um, the truth about tonight is I'm in a kind of good mood, and tonight we're gonna to make it an open night because of the sweet souls that got behind camera, right? These humans are very Special human, you know. Um, those of them that know I love them, know I love them. And those who know I don't, know I don't. Anyways, um, good evening and welcome to today's episode. Now, tonight is going to be an open mic night where you get to call in and ask any sex-related question. Um, it doesn't really have to be sex. Though. It doesn't really have to be sex. It could be marriage, whatever it is, right? Um, please do follow me at Sex Talk with Soul Spice and also at Sex Toys with Soul Spice on the score. You could also decide to follow us at This Is Pop Central, the only TV series that pops sex to your TV screen. Remember, what we do in this station and what we do on this TV show, right, is to bring your fantasy to reality. So tonight is different from every other night where we get to bring in guests. Tonight is all about you and I. So, yes, feel free to call in for whatever question you might have in mind, whatever topic you might want us to talk about, whatever thing you might need me to shed more light on, right? Um, that being said, that being said, I'll be going on a break. And when I come back, I need to tell you guys something important. When I say important, you know it has to be important, right? And everything important ends in pleasure. So... Where do you belong in all of this? So let your friends, family, and neighbors know that Soul Spice is here again tonight. What are you going to be learning from me? What am I going to be learning from you? What am I going to be talking about? What are we going to be discussing tonight? You need to sit tight to get to know that. Don't go in because Soul Spice will be right back. So the number to call is right on the TV screen. Feel free to call in to ask any question you might want to find out or you might want to ask. Um, the truth about it is, yes, I know sex is not something we speak about every time. Sex is not something we want to talk about, but trust me, um, at this point, we have to learn to speak up about our feelings. We have to learn to speak up about how we feel. We have to learn to speak up about what is happening to us so that we can get or find solution to all these issues, right? Uh, one of the greatest things I've encountered in the last one week is, you know, parents speaking to their kids about sex. I think this has been a major issue for a lot of women, not just women, but men as well. Uh, and I'm saying this because I happen to have a father who said, so spice, I have four girls. How do I tell them about sex? He feels it's odd for a man to discuss sex with girls. But I think that's the greatest and the sweetest thing you can do to those children. To it with their girls. Guy to guy, yeah. But you see, a man to his girls. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. You don't know the level that those kids will put you. And this is going to happen because they feel like, ah, with daddy, you know, you can see anything. My daddy is a G. You know, my daddy understands what's happening. My daddy's not like your parents, you know. It's something that they're going to be proud of. And you get to build that mindset where even when they're 13, 15, they won't talk to you about men. They won't talk to you about their friends. They won't talk to you about, you know, <sighs> excuse me, maybe not their own relationship, but other people's relationship, right? Because the truth is they might not want to tell you about their own. Even if it's about them, they might want to hide like for well, their friend or something just to get a reaction. But regardless of that, be their friends or their own, once you get to that comfort zone with your kids and your kids can trust you to talk to you about sex, then I think you have done well. You have done well. Because for every 10 parents you see, statistics say that only one is talking to his or her kids about sex in Africa. One. One out of ten. 
And I don't think that's a lie because even till date, you see parents say, oh God, my daughter is 12. I don't even know what to say. I don't know where to start from. So like, what do I do? And I'm like, at 12? 12 is gone. Because 12 is already, you know, excuse me, with a 12 years old, a 12 years old has, they have formed the mindset already. They are grown. You can't change their mindset. If a 12 years old wants something, then they stick to it. You know, so with a 12 years old, I have not discussed it, then you all you know. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello? Oh, God. Okay. So we lost that call. Um, please feel free to call the number showing on your TV screen. I can't wait to, you know, answer whatever question you have or respond to whatever issue you might have at hand. Um, when you call, please do us a favor to turn down the volume of your TV set so that when we get to pick your call, it will be easy for us to hear you and not get the feedback. Please turn down the volume of your TV set the moment we get to pick your call. If not, if you do not do that, we probably might have to let you go. And really, we might not like that because I really want to hear from you. I really want to speak to you. Um, I'm praying and hoping that the network does not mess me up today because you know how this mess, me, network thing can be. It can be very messy, right? But let's hope, let's pray that whoever is handling it would be so honey they don't get to remember, you know, to tamper with it. So, yes, I was talking about, you know, um, parents, you know, speaking to their kids about sex. And like I said, it's, it's a huge one for a lot of people. It's a huge one. The question is, what exactly do you want to see? You know, how do you tell your child what they need to know? What exactly do they, I mean the kids, what do they have on you at that point in time? What are you expected to tell them, right? And when we talk about sex, I will talk about kids. You also need to understand that there's Always age bracket for these things. When you're gonna tell a one year old, is here what you're gonna be telling an eight year old, an eight year old, a twelve year old, a twelve year old is here what a sixteen year old. Sixteen is probably eighteen. You know. So at what point do you start to introduce sex to them, right? Um, do you want to wait for when they get to when puberty starts? Do you want to wait for when they become teenagers? Do you want to wait? For them when they are, you know, when they're sensible enough to know what is right and what is wrong. Or would you rather wait for them to understand their body and know their bodies before you talk about it? But that being said, if you must ask me, if you want to feel and how I feel about this, I would say tell them the moment they understand that they have a different private part. Once they can see that the private part is from their brother or their sister's own. That is the clue and that is the time to start talking about sex fully. When I say fully, I don't mean advanced sex. Like I said, you need to understand age appropriate sex. So that being said, on this I will take a break and when I come back, we'll be taking your calls and probably, you know, yeah, talking to you. Don't go on social we'll be right back. If you're just joining, if you're just watching, I want to say welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Tonight we are having an open mic show where you get to call in and ask any question. Yes, one thing I also talked about is the fact that I'm going to be having a hangout. For those who have never met me before, and for a lot of you I have never met before, what's going to be happening there? What happened in Las Vegas stays where? Stays there, right? So it is, um, it's going to be something we cannot disclose in short i cannot disclose location i don't know i don't know trust me a lot of people are on my neck for location and i'm like that we can't share but the truth is um we are going to be having a very fantastic event right not event basically but you know a hangout session so to say so yes um you know um, like i said it's an open mic show where you get a call in to ask any question, anything relating to sex, 
relating to marriage, relating to your love life, you know, if you want clarity on that. And I also said that when you get a call and we pick your call, please, I am begging you, turn down the volume of your TV set so that it's easy for us, right, um, to hear you so we don't get the feedback of my voice or feedback from the studio. So when we get to pick your call, turn on the volume of your TV set. In short, just mute your TV to make it easier, right? Mute, mute your TV so you can speak to me directly. I would love to answer as many questions as I can tonight. So feel free to call the number on your TV screen. Feel free to, you don't owe me who you are or what your name is, right? So, yeah, feel free to call in to let us know what the issue is and how you feel so that maybe we could help you, you know, <clears throat> clear one or two things this night, right? <clears throat> so, I think we have a call. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello, can I hear you? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. May I know where you're calling from? Okay, I'm coming from Lagos. From where? Okay, so I'm happy that you are doing this free question stuff because I had a friend. I wanted to, I thought I was going to ask the question about her. Okay. In the show. So, um, he. He's a, he's, a, he's a close friend to me. Well, we were discussing when we went out together, and uh, she told me some stuff about her past. Could you help me speak up a little so I can hear you properly? Okay. So I said she's a close friend to me, and uh, one of the days when we went out, she um, she disclosed some things about her past relationships and all that. Okay. So from what we spoke about, um, she told me that she doesn't like, she doesn't think she likes him. And I was like, okay, why? She said, okay, in a, one of our relationships, in her second relationship, her boyfriend was the one who did virgin, uh, and um, they were having regular sex. For her to have sex, she had to drink and get high. So she couldn't have sex without being high. And she has noticed. She doesn't like. So I said, okay, I asked her some questions about the sexual experience. I don't, I, 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 I didn't ask her if she ever had the answer to that, but I said, okay, what do you guys have had oral sex and all that? She said, yes, but she had to be high because she can't even imagine being high. That is just disgusting. So what I've received here, she said the same thing. So she so doesn't I, like I, sex. I well, I she, think it's an issue. Sorry, sorry. I, I want, I want to get your question right. So she doesn't like okay. sex, right? And for her to have sex, she must be high. She must be high. So did she what tell you anything about her past? She can't even have sex. No, no. Did she say anything about her past? Maybe something traumatic happened. So what did she say? To her, did she say anything about her past? Probably was she molested? Was she raped? Was she abused? No, she wasn't. She said it was that her boyfriend. So what did her boyfriend, boyfriend do? And it was willing. So um, she said she, she can, as it is now, she will get on them when she's high. So um, another thing that I later asked her about, uh, um, I asked her about if she watches one of them before. Okay. She said, um, it's one of them, but she can't be one it is. If what? So I was like, oh, so that you might need to see a therapist. She doesn't wait, know. Wait. That's okay, I know. Sorry, but what she, type of porn does she like? She didn't even tell me if porn or masturbation, but she just said it's one of them. He does sometimes. Okay. So, uh, in other words, I feel, I told her that I feel that she needs me to see a therapist or I'm going to ask. I'll be asked or, um, to arrest back if she wants to to watch to ask because it should be that actually like. and I may not I don't, and I might want to date her and need to get married 
but I'm just scared about my father. Like me now, I have called on this my son. I was here, I called on my son. I had sex my version of 32. And um, I, you know, I said, I know I can even if it's just by hearing it. I want to have a very, I don't want this situation to be I get married to someone who says I'm. Is she your girlfriend? No, she's not. She's a girlfriend. Have you asked her out? Very, very well. So, and, um, and secondly, another thing is that she has a, she, she has a drink. She likes drinking. She has what? So, I don't know if the drinking is part of taking her hormonal. I really don't know. So, these are the issues she thinks she's trying. She doesn't get drunk or drink irresponsibly, but she likes to take them. Whiskey, like wine, wine, um, every two days, sorry, whiskey and all that. Like taking whiskey, gin and all those kind of stuff, just to keep. She says she just likes it, and she's trying to stop, but she can't stop. So those are the two stuff. So I don't know if it's related, but what I know, she said she can't. I told her it's an issue. So before she gets married and all that, and she was like, okay, she doesn't really know what it's about. That's just the current situation. I asked her, okay, I want a question to ask her, okay, when you were dating, did you guys do something to make love, not just have sex? Because I asked her, how was it? Mm. Okay, so, um, so I can, you said a whole lot of things, right? I had to take just five seconds off so that you probably could get back to your TV and, you know, unmute it, right? You said quite a number of things. So she practically has to get high for her to get down. She doesn't like sex. She drinks a lot, right? So those are the three major things I picked, you know, from what you said. Now, fourth, you like her. I think you want to date her, you know, you, know, you want to date her slash marry her. But you're thinking about all these things because you, you, you said something about, oh, I don't want to marry, you know, and I'm having this and I'm having that, right? I'm going to make this clear. One, you cannot change her. Get that straight and get that at the back of your mind. So even if you want to date her, you cannot change her by yourself now. Two, she needs therapy. She does need therapy. Um, the truth is, why does she not like sex? Why does she have to get high to have sex? What was her sex life like with her boyfriend, with her ex? Right? Um, could it be that it was rough? Could it be that she didn't like it? Could it be that it was not up to expectations, right? And you know, um, as women, we get to a point where we feel, this is not working. Well, let me just suck myself so you can just do and go. Right, but she's not even married, so I'm just wondering why she would want to, you know, let that affect her. But that being said, she really does need therapy because we need to find out the root of her not liking sex. Is it just a natural thing? Is it based on her belief system? Is it based on what she's been told? Is it based on how she's been groomed by her parents? Is it based on religious level? Right now, could it? also be based on experience as a child or experience as you know a preteen or a teenager right so there's so many questions i want to ask there's so many things we need to tick off before we can say this is the problem now for the drinking there is always a pattern to it right like you said for her to have sex she has to drink so it's a matter of okay if i drink i'm lost or i'm not available physically right, to experience or to feel whatever is going to be happening to my body, right, and so unconsciously, what we do as human is, if it works during sex, you would unconsciously extend to other parts of your life, which means that, you know what, she's feeling somehow today, she wants a drink, so when she gets a drink, she forgets it for an hour or two or a day, tomorrow when she remembers again, oh God, I have this problem, she goes back to drinking, right, and before you know it, addiction comes in and all. So, yes, she does need therapy. Um, when she goes for therapy, all these things can now be changed 
or it can be reversed, right? Um, it could be done through NLP. It could be done through coaching skills, depending. Now, if it's something that coaching can do, it will be done, right? But if it's something that they have to speak to her subconscious, right? They have to take her back to whatever event. They have to bring back her memory as out when she stopped being who she was because of any event or anything that might have happened, right? If I might have to use NLP, right? Um, so it depends. When she gets to um, speak to a therapist or a coach, they would be in the right form to let her know. Now, you also need to be very careful what kind of coach you're going to meet, right? The person must be certified for whatever issue it is right so that you understand it is not just about talking there are so many therapies on ig that don't have certificate to they don't even know the channel that they are therapy as long as you're studying anything i produce that like, yeah doctor this doctor that right so you have to be sure it's someone who is trustworthy someone who has um a lot of clientele to prove right that they know what they are worth right so yes you can't change her drinking uh, mindset you can only love her and speak to her. See, sometimes the more you love someone and they know you don't like something, sometimes, not all the time, they probably might want to let go one or two things. But do not expect too much, hoping that she will let go everything and she'll stop drinking for you. Good job. She probably might not do that. Right? So the truth is you need to get to that point where you have to accept her first for whatever reason it is. Right? Accept her for whatever it is. If you love her, love her all the way. Love her all the way. She's not perfect, trust me, but love her all the way. That way you can get to heal her. Okay, so I think we have another caller, right? Um, I need to move to the next person. <laughs> okay, could you please turn down the volume of your TV set for me, please? Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. Turn down the volume of your TV set so you can hear me properly. Hello. Let's give me some minutes so you can hear me say that. Hello, good evening. Mm -hmm. He's responding to the TV. Aha. Hello. Okay, hello, good evening. Okay, so we have to let him go because, yes, we've said that over and over again, but he keeps, you know, um, getting feedback from his television. Please, the moment you get to pick your call, turn on the bottom of the TV or mute your TV, basically, so that you can get to speak with me directly and hear me, right? Um... One of the things we need to understand, especially for those who are not married, whatever you get whilst dating, you get a hundred when you're married. Hello, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, may I know where you're calling from, please? Hello, good evening. Okay, so we need to let him go. He's still getting, he's still listening to the TV. We can't do this. I'm so sorry, whoever you are, you're trying to call back, but please listen carefully. When we pick your call, kindly mute your TV or turn down the volume of your TV set so you can hear me properly. You cannot hear me through your TV. It's not going to work. It's not a good feedback for the show, right? So pick your call, turn down the volume of the TV or mute your TV to make it faster. And then you can speak to me directly. I wish and hope you get a call back because you sound like someone who really needs answers to whatever it is. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, good evening. May I know where you're calling from, please? I'm calling from LCC, Abuja. Abuja, okay. So tell me, do you have a question for me? Ma? Do you have a question for me? I didn't hear you. Uh, your voice is low, I can't hear you. Do you have a question for me? Oh, my God. 
No ma. Did you just okay. laugh? Did you just ma, blush? I, I have this challenge that I want to share with you. Okay, I'm all ears. Okay, thank you, ma. Um, I got married last year, January 5th. So, during our dating year, when we were still in, when we were doing relationships, so, so I, when I brought up a discussion about how we'll be having our sex, because I told her that, me, I like it, like, if it is, if it's possible, three to four times a week. But that three to four times in a week is not all. We not just be about sex, like two times. Then the other one, the other two will just be like in a normal way, either giving head or the other one. But she should know that sex irritates her, and is not that 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 is not. I saw it and. It happened during say she used to vomit. So she, she used to what? Like, she does what? She says that. Hmm? You said she does what? Says it irritates her. During say she used to vomit. You've been married for a year plus now, like a year and two months thereabouts, right? Oh my god, I didn't hear you. You've been married for a year, a year and two months now. Yes. Your wife doesn't like sex. I don't know. So my question is now if if eventually I go out to look for somebody that I'll be paying, not keeping the person, just I pay you off you go. Am I cheating? Do you think you are cheating if you go out to someone else? Hmm? So let me ask you, right? If your wife, okay. if your wife finds another man, right, who probably knows how to make her feel better, right, and she sleeps with that man, do you think she's cheating? If she does what? If she finds another man, right, who makes her feel better, yeah. right, sexually, do you think she's cheating on you? Oh my God. <laughs> Well, there's no I have, I have tried the video, I have tried it. The last one she said, um, when you invited one of the therapists, the Nigerian one, not the Janinian one, there's yeah. one thing she said about um, using finger, you put two inches, yeah. then you just finger it. I have tried that one, but she's not coming down. I don't know what to say again. I, I'm confused. I have tried everything she said. I don't know. I but don't you have not answered my question. Like, you have not answered my question. If your wife... there's any man that we... If your yeah. wife finds another man, right, and she gets down, yeah. would you call that cheating? If there's any other man that will make her feel good, that will just open the door for me, no problem, because I want everything to just end. You want your marriage to end? No, not the marriage. The situation, the problem that I'm facing. Okay. If there's any man that will just make her feel good, then she will realize that, wow, this thing is not this real. No problem. So you would rather another man help you fix it? So you just come and enjoy it? Is that what you're saying? But if, if that's what she wants, no problem. Uh -uh, not what she wants. Would you take that? But the thing is, it, ma, you don't, the thing is confusing me because do you, there's what she said about because she was raped. Normally she was raped. So if, so, so now that you know, so the thing is, you know the foundation of the trauma, right? You know the reason why she's doing that. Why don't you bring her in for therapy so she can heal? Why do you think you can I heal her? I didn't get you, please. So you know the foundation of her trauma. Definitely there's, there's a trauma somewhere, right? Definitely there's pain. There's story to why she behaves the way she behaves. You also said she throws up, yeah. right? So these are after effects yeah. of her trauma coming back, right? Now, yeah. why are you not 
putting her to therapy for her to heal first. Okay. She needs therapy. It's like someone who's who has who is sick, right? And you're saying, okay, I know you are sick, oh, but let's just have sex. You are supposed to give her drugs first and make her heal first before you have sex with her. But what you're doing is, you know she's traumatized about something. You are now adding more to what she's already going through. The reason why she ends up throwing up. So what you need to do for you to get your wife back on track, for you to get the kind of woman you are praying for and you are hoping for and the woman you want to go and look for outside, go and register her for therapy. Let a sex therapist handle her. By the time they do, within four to eight sessions with her, trust me, they cannot go to her subconscious to change the picture, to change no, the recording. No, I, I, I have not made up my mind, people. I'm just asking if I do that, am I... I know. I you don't have to make up your mind. The moment you think about it, it starts to come to life. Right? Because I promised her, I promised her that not, I will never see it on her, but... The thing is, I'm tired of it. That but just a year and two months, you're already thinking about it. So what you need to do is probably send me a DM. Let's take it up from there, right? She needs therapy. And until therapy is done, she could do her therapy in one month and she's back to normal. What you need to do is we need to work on that trauma and eradicate that trauma. That is very possible. That's what I talked about when I talked about NLP, right? It is not just coaching now. It is NLP. Diving into her subconscious and taking away all the storage that she has put there. Changing the narrative for her. So send me a DM and they will take it from there. Okay. Thank you so much for calling. Thank you, man. I have heard what you said. All right. Okay. So, um, a lot of times we do not understand the depth, the pain, the frustration, and the unconscious anger that trauma brings into a lot of people's lives, especially people who are, no. you know, uh, molested, abused, no. or something. Hello, good evening, welcome to no, Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello, no, good evening. May I know where you're calling from? Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm calling from from Delta State. Okay, so do you have a question for me? Yes, I'm calling from Worry. From Worry. Okay, so go ahead with your question. Yes, yes. My name. I'm calling for. Okay, so sorry, um, your line keeps breaking so I could barely hear you. And it would not be nice if you ask a question and I just can't respond to you, right? So please feel free to call back. So hopefully your network will be better and that way I can listen and hear you and then I can answer your question appropriately, right? Um, we had to let you go because I just couldn't hear you. So yeah, that's it. So I think we have another caller. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Good evening. Okay. So, network has started showing itself. But anyways, on this, I will be taking a break. And when I come back, we'll be taking more calls and solving more problems. Don't go anywhere because Soul Spice will be right back. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Night with Soul Spice. Um... It's an open mic night where we get to talk about anything and everything. Like I said, I'm going to be having a hangout with my people. So if you want to come over, if you want to know about it, just send me a DM. I will move it from there, right? Um, so the guy who called, please do send me a DM. There's a lot of work to be done on your wife. I do not want you to go out. Thinking about it, it's just a matter of time. You will find yourself doing it. Trust me. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello? Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> well, um, network, network, network. I'm begging you just respect yourself, behave yourself, and do not mess with me tonight. Because whoever is behind that thing probably might never get an orgasm for the next one month. Trust me. So, yes, uh, it's an open mic. Um, the truth about it is, you see, when, we, when a lot of us walk down the aisle, when you get married, one of the things we do not tell ourselves is the fact that there are no rules. Oh. Are no I'm not going to speak Hello. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Let Now with Soul Spice. Universal. Can Hello. You hear, can you hear me? Hello. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, good. Could you please turn on the volume of your TV set? Hello, I can hear you. Okay. All right. So, do you have a question for me? Yes. Please go ahead. So I think yes. I have to let you go because I can get that feedback from your TV. Please, 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 I'm begging you. The moment we get to pick your call, please turn on the volume of your TV set to make it easy for us. Um, we do not like it when we let you go, or sometimes we just don't have a choice, right? Um, a lot of people are trying to call in, and so every second counts on this show. It's almost 12 a.m., and so... We are doing everything we can to get as many calls as possible so we can attend to as many people as we can. So we're going to pick your call and there's a feedback. We will let you go in three seconds. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Now with Soul Spice. Hello? Hello, good evening. May I know where you're calling from? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, good evening. Okay. I'm not sure we can hear that person at all. My people, I don't know how else to say this. Maybe I have to use sex, um, sex terms or I have to you know, say something erotic for you to hear, right? Because it seems not to be working. The moment we pick your call and you can hear hello, mute your TV, please, so that they can hear me. A lot of times you want to speak to me through your TV. It doesn't work that way. And that's the major problem we'll get. That's why we're letting go a lot of you. You have questions you want to ask, it's fine. The moment you pick your call and you hear hello, turn down the volume of your TV set or mute it to make it easy. Please, I want to speak to you. I want to hear from you. But when I get feedback, I would let you go with my full chest. Right? Maybe not full chest, but at least I'll let you go. Um, so I, I was saying something about marriage. I said, when you walk down the aisle, a lot of us do not understand that there are no rules. There are no rules. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Late Night with Soul Spice. Hello, good evening. Good evening. May I know where you're calling from? I'm calling from Owe. From where? Owe. From okay. Omai. Okay, so go ahead. Do you have a question for me? Mm, yes. Okay, please go ahead. I'm all ears. Okay, I I've been married for like um seven years plus now, and um the relationship has been on and off. Like uh, it's rosy today, and next week is is uh, an issue. But the point there is just that my partner has this uh, anger problem, and is really um, affecting her. So, and me too. I've also tried to. Um, work on the anger um, issue, but it's just that uh, she finds it difficult to let some things go. You know, when we started, it was a rosy, 
uh, noticed the anger problem, but it wasn't like so um, visible like this. You know, so, but at the point, um, we have kids now, actually, but at the point, we, we stop meeting each other, you know. So because of that anger problem, she, if I do something, she will just deny me sex. <clears throat> and after some while, I'll tell her that, uh, please, I'm sorry for whatever I've done to you. I'm always the one saying sorry. And she finds it very difficult to agree that uh, she's wrong, you know, so but at times. But the bottom line is that we've had our, at the point I wasn't, I'm not used to seeing other girls outside, but I like keeping my guys friend, you know. When you come back to the house, you say that we quarrel, we make up, we quarrel, quarrel, quarrel. So, I don't really know. And she finds it very, very difficult to forget things or forgive. <clears throat> you know, most times we have sex um, whenever we want to make babies. So, but what well, I'm really, I've been listening to your shows, but um, we can stay like three months. Um, we've not seen each other. We, she most times behave like a narcissist, you know. We always want it her own way, you know. So, but also, though, I've been trying, and each time you tell her, you beg her, after a point, she's an emotional person. She will not tell you that uh, you've made her done this. You always having that difficult spirit to let go. I told her, leave the past, face the present, let's stay focused and move on, you know, but... It's, it's been an issue. How can we be married and we stay like three months and we've not been having sex, you know? So at the point, me too, I don't bother, you know? So, so when you don't bother, what do you do when you don't bother? I've, I've, I've tried to talk to her about it a million, a million times, you know? And I've also tried to um, lay some certain things go off, like let's always have a romantic moment, let's be happy. I know every, every, every marriage is not perfect, you know, so, but I try to put our differences or any quarrel we've had and move on. But, you know, each time she, if she's stressed up, she always have this uh, psychological that has been affecting her and she always transfer aggression. You know, so it's, it's just really easy to be concerned. Okay, so, so let me ask you one thing. Let, let me ask you one question quickly, right? Yes. What is that one thing that you can say makes her angry most times? Like, but, um, <laughs> honestly, I've actually said anything that always uh, like uh, maybe if I scatter my things or uh, you know it's just my normal not things okay so so I, I think you, that, that, you know that's why I asked you right like you said mm -hmm. minor minor things what is minor to you might be huge to her especially when you're married to someone who probably is a neat person to the core you know, so I call them neat freak. People who want mm. everywhere to be arranged properly, right? And then when mm. you have these people who are always arranging, 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 right? And you throw one thing on the floor, you're wondering, ah, ah. It's just this one that is making you make that noise. It's making you angry. But the question is, do you also join them in cleaning and fixing the apartment? Probably not. Because let's assume uh. that... You are not around. But, uh, 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 what I'm saying, but I've also upgraded, you know, like um, 30 to 85 or 90 percent outside that, you, you know. Uh, so, but it's just that I've always tried to make my partner happy. Like most times, I'll try to displease myself in order to 
you know. At times, if something happened, I would tell her, if you know those things that I do and you don't like, please um, kindly remind me. Mm. But she would just shout at me and tell me, are you a small baby that I'll be reminding you? You know, it's just that uh, she gets angry often. And most times, the way and manner of approach she, she talks to you, like if she wants to say, uh, tell you something instead of telling you, please don't do this thing. She will not say, Are you a small baby that you don't know that you would do this? Mm. <laughs> you know, so, so I have, have, really you, have you, and have you, have you also the sex part of it? Mm. You know, sex is bonding, of course. Sex, sex will always be aftermath, right? Yeah, if if outside the bedroom is fantastic, you would notice in, in bed. So have you both right, tried to, um, you know, probably speak to a therapist? Sorry? Have you both tried to speak to a therapist? Uh, well, yeah, I've tried once and uh, you see, it didn't buy the other. And what was it like for you when both of you went? Sorry? What was it like when you, when you, when you spoke to, th what was it like? When we started? When you saw a therapist? No, we've not actually gone. As in, I brought up the idea, but she hasn't keyed up to that. So you, no. both, you both need to speak to a therapist, right? Yeah, um, sure. So wh what you might want to do is send me a DM, right? Both of you need to speak to a therapist because I don't want to judge her based on what you have said. Mm. I also need to listen to her own side of the story to know how she feels about you from the other end, right? Um, yes, she probably might have anger issues. Yes, yeah, but I believe if, 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 if she's gonna work on her temperament and know and let some things behind, it's gonna do her a lot of good and do us a lot of good too. Yeah. You know, so that's, what, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying, we need to see a therapist because sometimes she might not, if she doesn't see what she does, right, as a problem, mm. she can't change. Do you understand? To her, she, mm -hmm. she, then she doesn't have a problem. You are the one with the problem. Because if you do the right thing, I won't be complaining. I won't be shouting. I won't, won't be fighting. Do you see it now? Right? Yeah. But when you get to see a therapist, they will help her analyze it and bring it out to let her see that, you know what, this and this is a problem. If your husband says this to you, if your husband does this to you, how would you feel? The same thing you do mm -hmm. to him. If he says the same thing to you, but, are you a baby? But, Sorry, not like I'm cutting you short, but no, don't sorry. don't you think that whatever that if if that uh, sex aspect is not there, the bonding is not there, the relationship will be becoming toxic. You understand? Yes, uh, I understand. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. For the sex to be there, right? We need to solve the anger issue, or whatever is making or whatever is triggering her for her to be angry. Now, when she's happy, you will get sex. Exactly. Do you understand? When she's mm -hmm. happy, sex is not a problem. But if it is that anger issue, and when she's angry, every other thing doesn't work, including sex. Yeah. So what we need exactly. to find out is, what are those things that trigger her? What are those things that make her angry, right? How can we solve one or two things that will not make her angry again so she's happy, and then you get sex, and both of you are happy, and then you can bond and build a home? Because, again... The kids are watching. Yes, the kids sure, are listening. What... Right? So we want mm. to have a good environment so that the kids learn the right things. If not, when they grow up, they will see it as a normal thing and that will be part of their lifestyle too. Oh. So both of you need therapy, right? Or what some of you call counseling, right? So that they can both help you analyze what her triggers her and whatever it is that could be done to reduce the triggers. It's okay. I, I don't know how, if I tell her about the stuff, you know, she might not really buy the idea. I don't know. Maybe after some time, I can... So you won't tell her she has a problem. Sorry? What you will tell her, the only way she can come for therapy with you is when you tell her that, okay, you know what? You, you know you are always making her angry. So you want to go for therapy, Right? So that mm. you want to do the right thing so that she's always happy. 
Mm. When she knows you are going for therapy, at the back of her mind, she feels, ah, this man is trying to, he wants to change for me. And that way she can yeah. support you and come for therapy. It is now when she gets to therapy, she realizes that, okay, they cannot work on you alone without working on her because she's the one that will tell us all the problems and what are the things you do that makes her angry. That way yeah. we are able to analyze her and get her normal solution. If you understand what I'm saying. But if you tell her she needs therapy, she's not going anywhere. <laughs> it's for the both of us now. Aha. Uh -huh. No, no, it's not for both of you. If you say it's for you, she will come. Mm. But if you say both of you, she will tell you she does not have a problem. Go and solve yourself by yourself. Mm. I've, I've actually, I've actually gone for an online um, therapy before, and it actually contributed immensely, you know. And that's I know me too. I stepped up. She too. She, she saw how I was behaving, and mm. she stepped up a little bit, you know. So, but I don't really know. Most times, she, I don't know who she talks to, and I don't do the. Don't give her um, good advice at the point, but I can only say that the anger problem is really affecting her negatively. And okay, you know what you're going to do? Send yeah. me a DM that will take it from there. Sorry? Just send me a message on Instagram and we'll take it from there. All right, all right. All right? It's right. okay. Okay, thank you so much all for right. calling. All okay, right. people. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, all Have a great night. Chance. So, my people, right, um, I had to take that off air eh, because, trust me, there's a lot of... Um, so, when it comes to trauma, when it comes to triggers, there are not things you can just dive in. There are a lot of unpacking that needs to be done, right? Um, trust me, a lot of people are traumatized. A lot of people have a lot of triggers unknown to them, right? And this is why we say everyone needs therapy. Everyone know. Until you get that trigger, you don't know how crazy. Like, you don't know the kind of madness you carry until someone triggers you. On that note, I'm going to be saying, listen, marriage is what you make out of it. For every time you walk down the aisle, there is no promise on if or when you're going to have babies. There is no promise on if or when you're going to build a house. There is no promise on how or how great that marriage would be or who your partner will be in the next one year, you have no idea. But you see, the reason you're walking down the aisle is because you're in love. And love, I'm sorry to say, does not keep you home. Love does not keep your marriage. The only thing that could help sustain your marriage is friendship, respect, right? And communication. Communication comes to different forms. It could be silence, it could be you speaking, it could be anything. So when you understand friendship, you understand communication, and you understand respect, trust me, you are bound to live together for the rest of your life. On this, I'm going to be saying, do have a fantastic night. So like, come your way again. I mean, you're one and only soul spice and sex colors. For everyone who wants to get out, join me or see me, send me a DM and let's take it from there, right? Remember, we all have our triggers. We all have our traumas. And until something pokes it out of you, you will not know the kind of madness you carry, especially as a Nigerian. Dollar, whatever it is, trust me, it's in everyone. But for some of us, we have learned to tame it. We've learned to control it because we understand that happiness goes a long way. And the kind of emotions we let go into our system is life. So I can't wait to see you again, same time, same station, next week. Remember, all we do on this show is bring your fantasy to reality. And I hope I've been able to help one or two of you to understand that, you see, if you don't fix outside the bedroom, nothing will happen in the bedroom. But you see, if you fix outside the bedroom, ah, ah, they will knock shake for nobody in the bedroom. Good night and have a fantastic night. Love you.